All right, everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Shield. We just beat the Ice Gym. Um, so are we healed up? Yep. All right, we're in the level 40s. So we're moving right along here. I mean, we probably go east to the next gym. That battle was brilliant. That gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Sir Chester has some really great restaurants. I got some things I want to talk to you about, so let's head to a restaurant to celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. Okay. Let's go then. So I have to find the restaurant called Bob's Your Uncle. Is it? No. It's more like a hotel. This also looks like a hotel. Are they maybe the same hotel? Oh, there's cosmetic stuff here. I don't think I need any more cosmetic stuff right now. Is this it? Yeah, okay. Got the gym badge, huh? Nice one. Oh, hey, you're, there you are. I've been trying to find out more about the Darkest Day and the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Wait, hold on. No way, what's this? Um, a fifth tapestry. The heroes look sad. Where are the sword and shield? What was the meaning of this picture? Um, some kind of seal? I think so. I guess it could be they were sealed away. Or maybe they've gone into some kind of sleep. Based on those statues we saw on back in Stone Side, the sword and shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right. That's my take on it, at least. You remember the Pokemon we met that day? Do you think it could have been them? Either the sword or the shield Pokemon? You met them? Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right? The slumbering wield? Exactly. The mad Pokemon we ran into in the fog. Don't you think it, that could have been it? Well, that's right. You lot have been in the slumbering wield. I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. You've got to tell me more. How about we discuss this over a meal? Go on, what do you want to eat? Let's get our orders in. Fascinating. All right, next thing to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around Sir Chester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. Hero's Bath. They said this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down the evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the Hero's Bath, though. Hmm, who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? I think I'll have a look into that. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the Slumbering Wield. Perhaps you two can become new heroes. Well, like some hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one. Though I guess I'd fancy a sword if I had to take my pick. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show her? Think you can pull off a real heroic battle? Absolutely. Soon you treated us to a great meal. After that curry, I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle a beware. I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might just as well see what you can do. I'll heal up your Pokemon for you. So give it your best. We were already healed up anyway. Time for a little exhibition match starring the future champion. All right. Double versus dummy. K. 
counting on you, partner. Alright. It's hailing. Alright. Because this thing should be normal type. Oh, it's going to lower my... Who keeps growl by level 40? Alright, whatever. Now that's a proper move. Alright, so it's really trying to reduce the damage I do to it. Should only take one more attack though. As long as he doesn't heal. Heck yeah. Send out Inteleon. I will switch into Donkey. Because that's his starter, which I'm pretty sure is the water type. Hello. Goodbye. Tearful look. Oh no. What's it gonna lower? My attack? Yeah. Oh, and special attack. Holy crap. Okay. I still one-shot it. Cirilla Boom's attack is massive. Nice. After you. The user helps the target make sure it use makes it use its move right after the user. No, do you want to give up on having... Yeah. It's all that double battle stuff. So learn swagger. Hmm. Instead of hone claws. Yeah. Corviknight. I will switch. Um, let's send out Zap Pupper. Just because I'm confident that Zap Pupper can actually take it out. Let's charge first. Scary face slows my speed. Yeah. So we'll charge and then we'll spark. Gonna lower my speed again, even though you're already faster. Like, if you harshly lower speed, like, you are probably faster, as long as you're a similar, like, level. Now what? Now what you got? Snorlax. Um, I think that's just another one for dummy. Yeah. Another brick break. Then it's gonna get buffeted. It may only take me one more turn to take it out. Yep. So we did o we did half. We did over half. There we go. Easy. Easy peasy. Nice. Is that his last Pokemon? 
Ken Kirchin. Um, oh, I'll stay. Because despite what it might look like, it's actually electric type. Kirchen's gonna get hailed. Uh, but not to death. Okay. Swap Donkey into block and then Pinkurchin will die to hail. Curse. Okay, speed fell. And then attack and defense, I think, rise? Yeah. Got him. Nice. I still can't even beat you, my true rival, but I think I'm starting to see the light. Thanks, you two gave me the gave a right proper battle. At this rate you both are gonna even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into things in the Summering Wield. I'm going to keep challenging that gym. Then once I get the gym badge, I'll be headed for Route 9 to take on Spike Month next. I guess that's where I'm going. Seems like he finally shook off that gloom, Leon. Worry if Hop wasn't feeling alright. As his rival, you wouldn't like it either, right? See ya. Bye. Alright, we should go find... The uh, Pokemon Center. Wherever it is. There it is. Yeah, so we should... We should head to Route 9. So what's what's the next gym? One, two, three, four, six. Um, Pokemon Shield seventh gym. Hmm. Okay, so honestly, well, you know, I want to switch somebody out. Because we haven't used him really in a long time. We're going to take Kashyyyk out. And I think I want to use Devimon. Because it's dark and fairy. Sucker punch. And assurance. Assurance isn't bad. So we're just going to keep Devimon kind of in the back for a minute. While we go through Route 9. Uh, level it up a little bit. By experience share. And then... Um, and then we'll probably use it maybe even in the next two gym battles. That's probably a fisherman. So let's put Donkey up front. Meaning a trainer can only mean battle. What a simple concept. Barascuda. Okay. Let's 
faster than me. Jeez. All right. Really coming at me hard. Lantern. Still weak to grass. And I resist both its types. <laughs> go. The stronger one always wins. How simple. Alrighty. Oh, it's coming for me. Oh, no. Oh, she just walked the other way. My Pokemon are all pumped up from dancing with me. Are you ready for us? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what type of Pokemon dancers have. Darumaka. Oh, but it's ice type? That's interesting. Um... Darumaka's a fire type, usually. But I guess it's like a Galarian Darumaka. Headbutt's not going to do hardly anything. Um, oh, no, not strength, you idiot. It's the stick. It, like, kicked back and moved back up. Didn't do bad, but it would have one-shot if I had used Heavy Slam. I guess we'll just use... Strength again. Bell awesome. Is this gonna be a... Galarian Blossom? Is it gonna be ice type? Is it actually going to be grass type? Okay, grass type. Cool. Nice. Drill pack. Oh, you and your Pokemon make a combo that throws out moves like an elegant dance. Oh, already? Okay, do it. It's gonna become the big buff one. Right? Oh no, the middle one. Okay. And then it evolves one more time. Morgrim. Let's learn False Surrender. Pretender, the user pretends to bow its head, but then it stabs the target when it's with its disheveled hair. This attack never misses. Um, I think maybe instead of torment. It needs a fairy type move, though. That's what I really need. I need a fairy type move. Like, play rough or something. Ooh.
Instead of assurance. Oh, my special attack is decent. Actually. So draining kiss will be a good addition. There's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spike with, and that means we can't let you go on to Route 9. It's Team Yell's duty to cheer on these lovely Dreadnaw. We also get to stop people from heading out over the water. Alright. Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is that I can make it so that Rotom bikes can ride on water. Why, right, we meet again, my young gym challenger friend. Remember me? I gave you that bike, so do you think you could do me another favor and teach these ruffians a lesson or two? Our duty is to protect Dreadnought, and that means you're going to need to give up on the gym challenge. Looks like you need convincing, so how about a Pokemon battle? Send you packing, for the sake of Dreadnought, of course. Okay. Let's do this. What else you got? <laughs> Pangoro. Because, mm. I mean, it's double weak to fairy. We're going to be under leveled, but we should be able to beat it. Oh, and we're faster, too. Yeah, look at that. And like I said, it's double weak. So, Devimon's about to get crazy amounts of experience. And heal from that hail. to go back to Spike Myth. I really do. Ah, he's gonna ride the Dreadnought. Boy, I got an idea. We can get on Dreadnought fast first and ride it away. Alright, get a move on Dreadnought. See you later, Jim Challenger. Seems you've come to my aid yet again. How's the cycling life been treating you? Are you having fun? It'd be great if you could ride your Rotom bike on the water, too. That's why I'm going to add these special parts, allowing it to travel along the water surface, just for you. Alright. Alright, alright. With the Rotom bike water mode, you'll cruise across the water like a Pokemon with Swift Swim. By the by, when you're riding on land, we call it land mode. Alright. Well, we're going to save here, and we will go across the water when we come back. So thanks for watching, and I will see you then.